in this specific video we are going to talking about how to calculate number of digits in the given number in QBasic program in very simple way so if you haven't watched the previous videos of while loop how while loop work do while loop while loop and for loop you can watch that video and understand how while loop work and it will help you to understand all the program related to the while loop so let's get started with this how to do and with practical example at the end you will get the bonus point also i will be showing you two extra programs using the same method in very simple way sum of digits of given number product of digits of given number let's get to the screen now As you can see we are here in the laptop screen now so I will be showing you dry run as well as practical as well as output how it works in very simple way so let's get started now first of all you can see the question rem program to count number of digits from input number it means user will give you any number user will enter any number like 1 to 3 1 to 3 4 5 6 7 or whatever you have to count how many digits are there like 1 to 3 means 3 digits 1 to 3 4 means 4 digits okay fine cls to clear the output screen data of the output screen input we need to calculate number of digits so we need number no? so we are writing here input enter any number so it will be stored in n so let's say number is for now 1 2 3 okay user enter the value after that we are keeping here count equals to 0 so I will keep here count as zero. Now while loop start. Again, if you don't know how while loop work, you can watch the previous video and you will understand. Okay, so while loop and not equals to zero. What does it mean? It means until the value of n is zero, the while loop will execute. This is the body of the while loop. This will execute again and again. So first time and not equals to zero condition 1 2 3 n is 1 2 3 not equals to 0 condition is true fine when condition is true it will go to the next line r equals to n mod 10 whenever you are doing this mod it will give you remainder and whenever you are doing mod with 10 then n is 1 2 3 mod 10 means it will give you the last digit of the number that is n 123 mod 10 so remainder will be 3 so in the remainder i will keep here three count count equals to count plus one count is already zero so zero plus one means one next n equals to n integer division 10 integer division means it will give the quotient value without floating point without point so if we divide this 123 with 10 we'll get remainder as one two that means it will remove the last digit it will remove three we'll get only one two in n so let me remove this you can check this in your copy by dividing the number n is 12 now when it comes to the wind means while end it will go to the while loop again to check the condition it will go here and now n value is what 12 12 not equals to zero condition true then at, again it will go to the next r equals to n mod 10 12 divide by 10 what will be the remainder remainder will be the last digit only from here that is 2 so we'll keep here 2 in r count equals to count plus 1 count already have 1 so count plus 1 means 2 and then n equals to n integer division 10 again it will remove the last digit from here then remaining will be 1 in n then it will go to the end end of the while loop so it will go to here and check the condition again n not equals to 0 1 we have n equals to 1 so 1 not equals to 0 mean condition true then you will go to the next line r equals to n mod 10 it will give you the last digit of the number that is remainder that is 1 so r equals to 1 count equals to count plus 1 count is already 2 so 2 plus 1 means 3 
n equals to n integer division 10 it will give you quotient if you divide 1 with 10 then what will be your remain uh, question will be 0 so n equals to now it will remove the last means this one will be removed so then what is remain here nothing then that is 0 question is 0 in the same way then it will go to the end when means end of the while loop then it will go here and check the condition again while n not equals to 0 n is 0 0 not equals to 0 condition is false because 0 is equals to 0 when this condition is false it will go to the next line just after this wind direct that is print we are printing here number of digits are so it will be printed in the output screen let's say this is output screen number of digits are here is the variable name count so count high value 3 so let's enter here 3 we got the answer we enter 1 2 3 and number of digits are 3 so we got the answer in this way it works so next I will show you practical just after a few minutes. Next is bonus point. Next is if you want to calculate sum of all the digits of a input number, like if user will enter 1, 2, 3. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6. So we want to calculate that. So how to do? You know already how it works. First of all, this will extract this number 3 and then what you need to do in the place of this we need to write sum equals to sum plus r just remove that from here if you are not keeping any value to any variable that will be 0 then sum is first 0 and sum plus r will be 3 so just do the dry run of this program you will understand how it work and after that you have to print here sum sum of digits are sum so it will give you output 6 in this way it works because we are extracting one by one digit in as a remainder so if we do sum plus r means 3 next time 3 plus 2 will be 5 and 5 plus 1 will be 6 in this way it works just do the dry run you will understand very clearly now next time is product so we'll write here p equals to p multiply by r nothing else and we'll write here p and product of digits are so is it will be printed just do the dry run if you are not understanding just comment below i'll make the next video on this question so let's go to the computer uh, qbasic screen and run this program and see whether it is working or not <laughs> We have covered three questions, so let's run the first program first, counting the number of digits. I have written here program, just I am running this and let's see how it works. You can enter any number, it will give you the right output. 1, 2, 3, number of digits are 3 because there are 3 digits. And then let me enter the another number with 5 digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So you can enter any number and check random number any yeah number of digits are 5 so in this way it works it is not compulsory right here count equals to 0 because if we are not assigning any value to variable that will be automatically 0 so it is not compulsory to write you can leave it okay the next is sum of digits so in the place of this I will write sum equals to sum plus r and then here also i will write here sum sum let's run the program this is the only thing i have to change here if you understand the concept don't forget to subscribe to my channel 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 15 good next 123 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6 so in this way it works let's see the product I'll keep here P it is mandatory to write variable name related to what we are doing like P for product so I'm writing that in the place of plus sign I will write here multiplication sign this is product 
so let me run the program let me enter one two three it is displaying zero why uh, let me check uh, okay first time first time first time I have to keep your P okay fine message I will change here guess what is wrong here the main important thing is we are multiplying this number with R and P doesn't have any value that means 0 0 multiply by R will be 0 if you multiply any number with 0 that will be 0 so first important thing what we need to do is you have to keep your P equals to 1 so it will divide 1 multiply by R so that will be if we enter 3 3 multiply by 1 means 3 and next time so it will work so you have to keep here 1 this is the main important thing 123 look 3 multiplied by 2 6 6 multiplied by 1 6 in the same way you can enter any value now it will give you right output 24 so this is mandated to write here p equals to 1 thank you for watching hit the like button click on the subscribe button click on the bell icon so you will get the notification for the new videos and you can learn key basic very easily and don't forget to share with your friends okay <music>